Hello Aquarius, this is your daily read for August 16th. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, I will be doing extendeds on Thursdays from here on out. Um, Thursdays will, the Thursday readings will be compiled of Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So that way, while the days I have off, you will already have your reading compiled into one. Um... And then normal daily readings will be from Sunday through Thursday. Um, anything that's over 10 minutes, the extendeds will be on YouTube. Tara's Real Talk Tarot on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell uh, notification. So that way you can get notifications <laughs> that I post something. And if you want to cross watch anything or if you want to go check out another date, feel free to go over there and check out the archive videos. And you can follow up on any of those. All right. So for today, we have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Page of Wands. We also have the Nine of Pentacles. It's more focusing on yourself. Um, we also have the Page of Swords. You're researching stuff. You are getting downloads. You're, you are totally in your mind, in your head. You're learning some new things. You could be learning new things about yourself, about your... Um, your boundaries. It could be more about your strength. It could be more about uh, how you handle things. We have the full. With the Knight of Pentacles, I do feel like that you want to go slow and steady. You want to see things. You want to observe. You're not trying to make any kind of fast movements right now. I almost feel like you're not trying to have attention brought to you. So it's like, I don't want to make any sudden moves. Um, I feel like that you're trying to do the observing right now and you don't want to be observed. With the page of wands, I feel like, yeah, I have all this energy. I, I almost see you as like a supercharged being <laughs> that is just not moving just yet. And you're not moving because you're not sure what direction you want to move in right now. And I feel like that that's where you are getting... Um, your information, you know, that's what you're studying. But until you know for sure, you're going to continue looking and learning for yourself with the Nine of Pentacles. I'm going to keep pouring into myself. I'm going to keep investing in myself until I get the answers that I need. Once you get the answers, we have the full card here and we have the Eight of Swords and we have the King of Wands. So here's where... I feel like you could be taking a blind leap of faith here. The reason why I say that is because if you look at the full card, the turtle's eye is closed. Right there. The eye is closed. It's like, I'm going to take a leap of faith. I'm just going to trust the process, whatever it may be. But we also have the Eight of Swords. So there's stuff that you are wanting to take a chance on, but at the same time, you're still closing yourself off from a certain energy. And you're like, I don't even want to deal with this energy. It's like you want to deal with it, but you don't want to deal with it. It's like there's a part of you that's excited about possibly dealing with it. And then there's the other part that's like, nope, we really don't want to deal with that bucket of disaster. So let's close ourselves off from it. So with the Eight of Swords, I feel like that you are in your own constraint. You are protecting yourself. The King of Wands could be a fire sign, um, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Bottom deck energy is the Three of Pentacles. There's something about this energy where you are going to have like a new foundation. There is going to be some kind of new stability. Um, there could be some kind of collaboration as to how you can make things work uh, together. This doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic reading. For some of you, it will be a romantic reading. But for others, this is just about making amends and making things solid and making things balance out. Sometimes you have to make amends with a person in order to open up new doors. You have to get it out of the way. It's, like, it's almost like unfinished business. And so I feel like the business might be coming to a close. And you're going to get a lot of clarity as to what you need in order to have a new beginning. So that tells me that once you have this discussion, once you get things balanced back out, you're going to have a whole new clarity and you're going to have a whole new beginning of an outlook. We have an Ace of Cups here. 
So you could be having a new beginning when it comes to love, or it can open up a new door for you to find love. But you have to get this clarity first. The love may or may not be with this person. But we have the Three of Cups. I feel like that there could also be uh, possibly a third party situation, or there could be people talking in your ear or people talking in their ear. Um, telling you not to do this or not to do that. But for others, this is also about having friends and family that support you on what it is that you're doing and what your journey is. Is We also have the Queen of Pentacles. You could be dealing with an earth sign, don't have to be. Um, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. But this person is very nourishing. This could be a person giving you advice. They could either be giving you support or they could be naysaying and saying, hell no, don't you dare. So be mindful, use your own discernment as to what you want to do. Um, just be mindful about what advice you get from others. What intention are they coming from? Like, what is their intention? What space are they coming from? Are they really trying to help you? Or are they trying to benefit themselves by telling you what they prefer you do? All right, so energy surrounding you is Capricorn. So there may be some people that you tell about this and, you know, they may say, oh, I don't think you should do this. I don't think you should do that. But if it's something that's in your heart for you to bring to a closure, this might be something that you have to bring to a closure. We have Libra. Let me turn the cards up right. But yeah, this could be something that you need to bring to a closure in order for other doors to open. We have Earth, which is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have Scorpio, bottom deck energy is Aries. We're also going to pull advice from the universe. Spirit, what? Okay, well, here we go. We have the giraffe, bigger picture. Take a step back and gather your thoughts and your feelings. This tells me to remind you to follow your intuition, follow your own gut on what it is that you want to do, on what you want to heal, and it doesn't matter what anybody wants. As long as you're following what you need to do on what you want, that is the main thing, Aquarius. Follow what you want. So even if it is a quote unquote bad decision, you're going to learn lessons from it that's going to open up other doors for you in the future. We cannot run from, we can't run from things that are meant to be there for healing. We're going to have pain in life so that way we learn from it. We can't run from it. And so you may have people, you know, telling you for selfish reasons not to do a certain thing. Or you might have people telling you not to do something because they want to protect you. Just make sure that you're using your own discernment when it comes to advice. So that's what I have for you today, Aquarius. I'm sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. Have a great day, and I will talk to you soon.